instances of paranormal phenomena have been reported in this desolate place. Events that may reflect the area's tragic past. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Other Dangerous Podcast, where we talk all things paranormal. I'm Ken James, and this is Jason McKittrick. Hey, folks. And if it can haunt, howl, or dwell in the dark, we want to talk about it. And tonight, we are uh, forgoing all pleasantries with jump scares and <laughs> haunt, haunted headlines and all the such. Uh, we're, we're, we're starting off this uh, first episode of October in the spooky season, gang. Spooky season. Spooky season. And uh, we're, we're having fun. And, and th- this one, it's not going to be a video episode. It's just audio. The, your, your boys are, are busy. Your boys are busy boys. Yeah, it's the best season, but it's also the fucking busiest season. Right. So we're here, and uh, we're going to actually go back to... It's just nostalgia on high. It's, it's the... Who the Halloween slash horror-themed toys of our youth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, we, we each put together, uh, you know, five of our favorites. Uh, I mean, this was, uh, wasn't easy putting this list together because there's just so many because, like, literally right. all my, almost all my toys were horror toys, and I'm sure, right. you know, yeah. you as well. But, um, yeah, we figured it'd be, you know, a fun little thing, you know, because if we don't like, uh, you know, we like talking about the scary stuff, but we really like talking about shit from our, from our childhood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember that one time when I was a yeah. kid and I said, t- <laughs> "Yeah, right, right." And uh, yeah, this one's another Zoom one. We're not in the same room, uh, like you know, like we were saying. We we were we're we're in Pennsylvania together. <laughs> yeah, we're still in the same state. I mean, yeah, it counts. yeah, right. It counts. It still counts. But uh, yeah, we just we you know it's we can to throw this together, and we're like you know we got to get this down. And first off, I want to say that going back into these toys, thinking about them. Like, mm-hmm. I just, I remember, like, being in my grandpa's living room, seeing the commercials. I remember being in my mom's basement and just, like, dumping out the tub or having them. Like, oh, it's, hell yeah. Ugh. And then I remember, like, you know, finally getting my own room and, like, placing them on my bookshelves. And I was like, fuck these books. It's toy time. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, hell yeah. Dude. It was the same way. Same right, way. Right, right. And it's so, funny, too, man, because <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking essentially the same thing. But also, I wonder if, you know, are people going to be nostalgic about like nostalgic about toys the way that we are? I don't think so, because like know. toys, toys don't seem to be as big a deal for kids as they were for us. It's true. It's well because they started getting real shitty. And I can remember oh, yeah. the I remember the moment, um, the Men in Black movie, right? The first one. Yeah, yeah. And I remember, like, oh, they're going to make toys for this. This is going to be mm-hmm. awesome, you know, and. Mm-hmm. I remember there was even an interview with Will Smith, and he he was holding up his toy. Yeah, and he was like, "Man, they don't make them like they used to." You know, like yeah, I forget what company made those, and I remember the I remember that line specifically. The only good figure in that whole toy was the Edgar, like the big bug, and because he could like right. he had the figure in his like stomach. Like it was the yeah. only good figure in that series. And it's weird too because they all looked like they were in the wind, like the way they made them, like their ties were going, and like yeah, it, it was weird. Yeah. I was just like, eh. but I remember that being like the first downfall. Yep. of like action figures as we call them because you know sure. it's like, not fucking toys it's an action figure yeah well yeah yeah well i mean you know you play with it it's a toy yeah, right sure sure it's all good. sure yeah well and, and you wanted to uh give us a little disclaimer here about a specific oh, set of toys? oh yeah so obviously we're gonna get to the, the end of our list and you're like guys where's the ghostbusters toys well we're just gonna go ahead and omit those because that could be an entire episode in itself mm-hmm. but we talk about Ghostbusters or not. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we do. We're like, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just put that one right at the top. Let it sit at the top, and then we'll just talk about <laughs> yeah. the others. Go from there. You know, yeah, exactly. Because alone, the firehouse. Like I use that with every toy. Right. The, the Ghostbusters firehouse, the original one. You know, with yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That was that wasn't you know that wasn't reserved for just the Ghostbusters toys. Oh, like, oh, absolutely. When you run out of the slime, I was sticking silly putty play-doh, whatever I could, down the top to drain it down. You know, like I was, yeah. yeah, no, I was going nuts with that thing, man. It was brutal. Right. 
All right, man. So we got uh, we got five five each. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is in no particular order. These are just five that we picked, mm-hmm. and uh, you know we're going to talk about them. So uh, you want to go first, Ken? Sure. Yeah, I'll definitely go first. And then after our first five, we are going to do uh, one that's one that we never got. So it's mm-hmm. going to be like the 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 dream toy that was this right. you know in the same vein that we never got and then also the forbidden toy forbidden. And, and the forbidden toy that if, yeah, if your mother or family saw this you Ooh. were in the dog might house a, that might be a different story <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't know I, I, I don't. but right yeah so I'll, I'll take the first one this first one um Goes by a couple names, but they call it the Thing Maker. I always knew it as Creepy Crawlers. Behold, my most horrifying creation! <laughs> Graveyard Ghoulies! Crawlers. Squeeze the colored goop into the mold or use glow goop and out pop body parts, stomach, heart, brains. Creepy Crawlers! Graveyard Ghoulies are a creepy crawler fright, so beware of what happens at night! Creepy Crawlers from Canada Games. Parents assembly required. Light bulb not included. Graveyard Ghoulies with glow plastic goop each sold separately. Mm-hmm. Right? I can hear and the I can hear the soundtrack. Creepy Crawlers! And it eventually became a cartoon. But mm-hmm. uh, dude, I, I'm gonna give you a little backstory on it, you know, and then I'll talk about my memories. But the thing maker also called Creepy Call- Crawlers is an uh, activity toy made by Mattel beginning in 1964. The toy consists of a series of die-cast metal molds resembling various bug-like creatures into which poured a liquid chemical substance called Plastigoop, which comes <laughs> in assorted colors. The mold is then heated to about 390 degrees Fahrenheit, 109 Celsius, and an open-face electric hot plate oven. So this is basically like an easy-bake oven for boys, right? Dude, I right? can smell it right now. I can smell right. it. Right. And like, I remember because it started in 69, you know, but then like, you know, early 90s when I was I'm sitting in my grandparents living room, it's fall, you know, my dad just, you know, we, we were there, you know, in Northeast Philadelphia, sitting on the floor, we went to McDonald's or Steve's or something. And, you know, <laughs> waiting there for to get oh, dropped off, off, yeah. waiting to get dropped off at my mom's house, you know, you know, it's, it's dusk here getting the smells, the back doors open and creepy crawlers it's cut into nickelodeon dugs on you know like it's just <laughs> Fuck like, yeah, Doug. Yeah, yeah you're waiting for you're waiting for rocco's modern life you know they're oh. close to a rug rats and then our real monsters you're in fucking heaven dude you're in heaven <laughs> and, and the creepy crawlers commercial comes on and i just was like i will literally fight everyone in my family if i don't get this you know like <laughs> if i don't have this toy you know this place oh yeah you know and we we were we were an action figure family you know uh-huh. but you know the play sets you know if it was if it was the real deal we we're going for them yeah. we this is one of those things i was like I, I i just need this i need this and i actually got it later um than i when i originally saw it, it, it you know i got everything else thrown at me so it like was a distraction yeah. it was like gi joe fucking power rangers everything else and then eventually <laughs> i got the creepy crawlers and i was just like you know like at that point it was just it was a whole different ball game for me i was like <laughs> well thank you mother you know <laughs> I yeah really, i i retire i, I retire to my chambers with igor <laughs> and create these creatures yeah my brother actually got this my brother john and uh I, he was i mean like dude we made so many of these fucking things and i, I i'm pretty sure we almost burned the house down one time because something like i remember something like got on the oven like like there's melted plastic my dad like freaked out he's like what the fuck like <laughs> and you know yeah. I, you know you said you're sort of 390 degrees what yeah. lunatic would put that in a child's hands and like the plates were like metal the plates were like natural metal you know yeah and you have a little thing that you were like yeah mm, like slide it in yep and i, I don't know who Thomas Edison was on board making this light bulb. Like he was like talking to you know no, 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 no. Tesla. He, I was know? gonna say he stole yeah. the technology from <laughs> Tesla to make this. I, I'm so saying like. these ones were on the phone together <laughs> in the other realm, and they were like, uh, we, need to, "We need to create these creepy crawlers. What kind of bulb in a child's toy could we create?" And it's so, funny too, man, because remember, like you would take like the two colors and you'd like almost you ever do like you'd like drizzle them so they'd be like yeah. two different striped colors. Oh yeah, yeah dude, thought, they were everywhere. You thought you were you were Michelangelo. You were like you were Leonardo <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci with making. Cre- You're like this one's arm. Get this, like get this. This one's arm is green, right? Yeah. Thorax orange. 
yeah. ble- you know, it's going out in the shades of blue and turquoise. But then the the, the bitch of it was uh, to get the refill bottles. Ugh. Expensive as hell. And you know your parents weren't taking you out to get refill bottles. Yeah. It was a one and done. It was a one yeah, and done. Pretty much. You, you were Frankenstein. You know, you you were you're Victor Frankenstein for a day, yeah, yeah or two. You know, and, yep. and then, yep. well and behold, you had to get more goo because it's not readily available at your local Toys R Us. I think it was. It was just fucking expensive. They stopped carrying it because no one was buying them. Yeah, and yeah. if you did, you know, you know where it was. Mm. All the way at that top shelf, they everyone they had that like it was always in the back, and mm-hmm. it was like the like you know the parts and stuff but they were also yeah. like the weird like laser tag like sets right. before they were popular right and, like oh yeah like you'd have to like look up and you'd be like you know you talk to the dude that's just like uh 90s burnout you know he's wearing <laughs> he's wearing like a flannel one you know before it was you know flannel and he's just like man <laughs> <sighs> you know right. I'll, I'll see if i can climb up this fucking you know fucking dude <laughs> fucking dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, man, I, I, I almost, I knew you were going to pick that one, uh, but that would probably would have made my list too. What a, what a right. great, what a great, because you know, man, everybody had that fucking right, thing. right. Well, because it had the banger theme song. You know what I mean? Like the banger theme song, and then like during like recess or lunch or whatever, everybody would pull out their dude. Which ones did you make? You would pull them out on the yeah. fucking lunch table. Like they'd, they'd just be everywhere. You want to trade? They were in baggies. Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, like yep. you, what, what, yep. you, what colors you got, man? <laughs> the time. only thing the only thing i think that rivaled the only theme song for a toy that rivaled this that isn't horror themed was crossfire oh you, you crossfire. Get caught up in crossfire like i stole i'll come up with stuff making fun of people at work and i use the crossfire theme <laughs> i use the cadence for crossfire to like make fun of people that or do you remember the uh it was a it was a remote control uh, truck called the animal i had the animal do you remember the theme song I don't. I don't. Uh, shit. After this is over, look it up, and you're like, "Fuck!" And that'll All be your right. new thing to make fun of people. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, buddy. What is your first pick here? All right. So my first pick was, and this this is another banger because this was the series of figures to have because I remember the year they came out, 1989's Kenner Beetlejuice figures. Ooh, it's showtime. Hey, annoying hombres making you do stuff you hate. Don't lose your head. Make them history. Ah! Think that's scary? Watch this. Whoa! That went right through me. Did you see that? Ah! Now watch this. First, a double team. Ah! Now, a double scare. Ah! Nobody beats me. Ah! Ah! So when you want to scare somebody, give me a call. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Gotta go. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Dude, come on! Yep, yeah. Uh, these are your your typical six inch uh, action figures, and it was yep. tied to the legendary Tim Burton movie mm-hmm. uh, starring uh, our boy Michael Keaton. Keats and potatoes himself, Michael Keaton. Right, right, right. Uh, series one consisted of six figures. You had Shish Kebab Beetlejuice with his scary skewers. Yep. <laughs> Spinhead Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice with the creepy cockroach. Showtime Beetlejuice with Rotten Rattler. Harry the Haunted Hunter with Terrible Tarantula, uh, Otho the Obnoxious with his Loathsome Lizard, <laughs> and Adam Maitland the Headless Ghost. Now, yeah. these were awesome, and there's a couple vehicles that went through their pool, but do you remember the thing that was like a pain in the ass about a couple of these figures? Uh, I remember the, like, the springs would get stuck. Yes, but if you wanted Beetlejuice in his outfit with the striped Right. It, you had to take the head from like the wedding looking Beetlejuice and swap it out. So if you wanted like the ultimate Beetlejuice figure where like right. he looks he does in the movie, right? Yeah. In the black and white stripes, you had to buy two figures. And I remember that to this day, me and my uh my buddy Chris, um, he had the one, I had the other. And it was like dude, it was like It started it all. It was like the I was like, like dude, you got the head, he's got the body, yeah. and we put it together. I was like, There it is, there it is. We're like, here it is. We were just showing people. So yeah. it's here we have it we yeah have it. yeah you it would like getting with your friends like they, they they do that now with like the marvel legend series you know yeah and like you're like you fuckers they they, they took that from beetle <laughs> the beetle basically figures. basically they stole the build a figure concept from uh from beetle <laughs> right and i remember i remember these toys uh we would go to um god damn it was in it was one of the outlet stores that used to be in franklin mills mall on one of mm-hmm. the outside ones okay and notorious in the northeast everyone you say franklin mills mall they call it, it's called the mills and like you know whatever now it's bullshit but it's franklin mills mall okay and we would go to 
I'm trying to remember. It was like a JC Penny. I okay. might, might have been. Mm-hmm. And they would have the toy bins in the middle, right? So like yeah. we would go and they would have the bargain bins and yep. you'd find them and they wouldn't, they would just have them in like baggies, like I was saying earlier. And mm-hmm. they, the price would be on them and like there'd be like seven of the shish kebab ones, you know? Yeah. And then they'd be, intermi- they'd be intermixed with uh, the Batman Tim Burton movie toys. And I remember finding them <laughs> like, the Pierce has got these. I want. <laughs> you, know? like, you have a bad, you know, like, you know, you're in JC Penny, you're finding toys and bins. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Yeah, there he is. See, there this is. head doesn't go to this body. That's mm-hmm. the funny thing. So, <sighs> it is funny. Do you remember? It was one of the Ghost Hunter shows before it. You know, Ghost Hunter shows became Ghost Hunter shows, and it was the dude uh, that moved into um, Sharon Tate's house. Oh yeah. I remember on his mantle when they all got knocked over yes. and they were showing the replay. It's all those yeah. Beetlejuice figures. He, I, yeah, I, he's like, yes, my Beetlejuice toys get knocked over. Yeah. I'm like, are, are we taking this guy seriously? Like, well, he didn't. He just said toys, and I remember seeing. I was like, what toys is he talking about? And they had the camera. I was like, it's the fucking Beetlejuice fucking toys. Yeah, I'm like, all right, you're a little cool. You're a little cool guy. Yeah, hey. there he is. There he is. Yeah. No. Uh, just oh, nice. Just glow in the dark, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> well in the dark toys so good yep yep so Sorry, yeah, man, guys, i mean we're just we're just like being you know we're putting our toys in the camera for each other right now. <laughs> better, better <laughs> buy our stations yeah <laughs> yep no um j- just an absolute favorite of mine and like I-, I just i also like the fact that um you know t- that we mentioned you know mentioning ghostbusters before but like this series kind of had like a Ghostbusters kind of like feel to it, like the way right. that the, uh, the ghosts had like those like pop out actions and stuff. Well, did the go- the Ghostbusters one came first, right? Yeah, yeah, that was eighty seven. So they were like successful. Yeah, movies way darker than the Ghostbusters movies, but yeah, let's get the kids in before the cartoon comes out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, and it's cool because they were it was based on the movie, which I appreciated because the the cartoon, which you know, cartoon was fine, but it was not the movie. Oh so, yeah, no, 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 no. I always like the fact that uh, you know these figures were based off of the movie. So right, right, right. Yeah, and but, I, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Like I was saying, I remember the Pierce's had him. I was like, damn it! Like, I, you know, at first I was like, Ugh. then I ended up getting him at JC Penny later, but. Yeah, and I also really like the packaging because it had like the um, it had like the picture of Beetlejuice and it had like the the black and white stripes, and like with a little bit of green. Right. Uh, it just it had it like it mimicked that like, you know that like I don't know cutting edge kind of like avant garde art kind of style that oh, was yeah. like totally. being made fun of in the in the movie. Yeah, totally stylized. Like yeah. you know, like get, yeah. get on board. It was like a get on board kind of style on it, which I like. Delia, you are a flake. Yeah, yeah it just <laughs> always be a flake. Yep. So, and I don't know about you when you've had these, but like the movie had to go on if you're playing with these. So the movie, and, the movie has to go on. Like, I don't oh, want to be this guy. I, I don't want to be the guy that's like, oh, I put on beer juice all the time. Like, I I do. I, I do, do put, too, like, man. Yeah. My, my kids love it too. So like, they should, but, dude. Like last week, Nora was like, you promised we would watch Beetlejuice. I'm like, okay. So we like it was after you left the last time. I had right. to sit down and watch Beetlejuice with her. I remember uh, I was I was on one of my first dates with Brittany. And she's like, oh, me and my friend Christina, we would go out to the bars and we'd get drunk and we'd just come home and we'd always just watch Beetlejuice and eat. And I and was you got like, married. Yeah, then I got married. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 part of the story. It's part of the tale. No, man. No, no. Christina's a huge fan of Beetlejuice, too. So right. it's like one of those movies. If you find someone that doesn't like Beetlejuice, and there's a few, that's when you're like, keep an eye on that fucking uh, clown. Yeah, watch what they say. Watch yeah. this. <laughs> no, and then also yeah, when you're a kid, you're watching this movie with your parents leave the room, look to the uh, nice fucking model. Mm-mm. You know, every time, every time. Yeah, I remember too because I, I watched it so much as a kid, and then I stayed home sick one day. Yeah, and uh, I was from elementary school going into middle school, and I was mm-hmm. like, you know, my brain was my analytical brain was starting to develop, you know. <laughs> and I remember watching it for the first time without like anyone else around and just like analyzing it. Yeah. And I remember the you know the dude, the letter guy, the flat guy that got run over? Yeah. I remember seeing that concept for the first time and actually processing it as like an eleven year old. Mm-hmm. And I was like, holy shit, this is dark. <laughs> <You> know, like, <laughs> yeah. And they're all suicides too. So not right. only did that guy get run over, he threw himself in front of a truck. 
Right, right, right. Raitlin, right, right. Body of two. Yeah. Yeah. Funk as he goes through the, the yep. shoot. Yeah. Great. Great toys. Great movie. Great times. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what do you got next, buddy? This one, this one, another one that I didn't get till later. Um, uh-huh. My Pet Monster. My Pet Monster. He's bigger than big. When he fights battles, he always wins. Yeah. And he's your friend, too. He breaks his chains. Put him on you and break away, too. Yeah. With My Pet Monster, you're busting loose. Yeah. He's big. And scary. <laughs> and helps people, too. And he's your friend, too. My Pet Monster plays all day. Tough. Awesome. Looking great. And all your friends will want him for their friend, too. Yeah. My Pet Monster has breakaway chains from Amtoy and American Greetings Company. Oh yeah, like the 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 you want to talk about a fucking wacky character design? You mm-hmm. know, another thing. It started as a cartoon. This one, but so I'll, I'll read this real quick. Uh, My pet monster is a character that began as a plush doll, first produced by American Greetings in 1986, the year I was born. It has horns, blue fur, and a fang smile, wearing a breakaway orange plastic handcuffs, which were a big thing that I needed. The property oh, yeah. was sold to Sabin Brands in 2012, and then 2018 to Hasbro. They uh, acquired Biped Monster. Like, it, it was such a weird thing. And I remember, like the there was a movie too, right? They, they made a movie, right? Uh, did they? I don't know. Yeah, I remember it being a live action thing, and the monster okay. would run around. And huh. then I remember going over. My mom was like, you know, trying to make me friends with like her business associate friends kids you know like <laughs> i'd go over to their houses when they're talking business or whatever doing they'd, whatever they'd, they'd lead you in you'd have the shackles on yeah, yeah. this well, is no, kenny I remember, <laughs> well no i remember seeing the kid had it yeah i was like yo why do you have this like you're not yeah. who are you you know yeah how do you have this and i don't you know yeah he's like well you know and i was like you piece of shit you know and i eventually got one and i was like where are the fucking cuffs you know where are the cuffs and i ended up he ended up giving me the cuffs to go wow with yeah, yeah, he was all right. He tried. He almost drowned me in the pool because he couldn't swim. Oh, okay. we were all hanging out at the pool, and he grabbed on to me, and I was like a good swimmer. And this kid wow. was—he was—he was a heavy kid. I was—I <laughs> put on the burners to save this kid's life, you know. <laughs> well, I think he owed job. me. He owed me the cuffs. That's what it was. He owed right, me the cuffs for saving his life, yeah. and not telling his mom that I, <laughs> I almost drowned Sharon's kid. <laughs> Yeah, we. Um, this is another one. I didn't have this one. But my younger brother had it, and um, just a cool fucking toy. And like everybody had them. Like you go to somebody's house. Where's your my pet? My oh, there. <laughs> like it was just yeah. it was everywhere. Right, right, right. And just the those cool colors, just the purple with the yeah. orange, the orange just, and the blue the, too. Like the blue, yeah. like the fur. It was yeah. It was it was legit. It was legit. Yep. And also back then, like. Y- there were specific things like a movie would have to come out or something else would have to come out and this was just no this is this cartoon this is this character it's a, it's a fucking monster and here it is you know and it was like a a popular thing and you, you lo- i loved that i loved when like like oh are we talking monsters over here what? you know like yeah. what's going on you know yep yep that's my number two now buddy great pick thank you thank you what do you got for the next one all right man so my next pick this was I had a history with this toy, and um, <laughs> what a great toy, dude. Uh, Scareglow from the Masters of the Universe uh, line. Now, even if you didn't like He-Man, which was one of like, the first successful action figure uh, lines, right. even if you right. didn't like He-Man, if you were a monster kid, you'd be like, oh, I need to get that one. All right, it's a skeleton. It glows in the dark. Uh, it has a weapon called the Scythe of Doom. And it has a you know it has a bitchin' purple cape with a Dracula top, so hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Um, this toy, dude. Like, I had let's say I think I had three of these because um, it would break, like, and it broke on like one was just my my jerk off cousin <laughs> like to break toys. Uh, for some reason, he was like, "Oh, this is cool," and just threw it on the floor. I was like, "You mother." Fucker, like totally breaking jerk off. dude it, we were there visiting on christmas i just got it that day the first time yeah 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 this is the same cousin that threw the daredevil on the roof it's this motherfucker <laughs> you should be like oh i got you a christmas present it's a knuckle sandwich <laughs> some dookie oh, here's upper a herd's, deck is toilet here's a herd's donut <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly 
uh, but and then the second time I got it, uh, the legs there was like a rubber band that held the legs together, and that came off. So uh, this is a toy that I like really, really loved, and um, you know, uh, I, I was without it for a long period of time. So uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That I'm, hey man, now the thing is fucking untouchable. Now you can't like they're like <laughs> yeah. they're like four or five hundred. Like it's a you can't even get them now. Yeah. Thankfully, they do like a re-release, and like you can get them for like you know around thirty bucks. It's not the right. same, but it's right. you know. Um, but you know what, what a cool character. I mean, um, so the little uh, backstory on the guy. He's from the uh, you know the Masters of the Universe line. And uh, Scareglow was an evil ghost from another dimension who was summoned by Skeletor from across time and space, although it was never stated which time period or dimension Scareglow originated from. Uh, Scareglow uh, initially refused to serve Skeletor and even threatened his would-be master, but Skeletor soon brought him to heel, telling Scareglow that he would not return him to his own realm until he had defeated He-Man and his allies. That's a bad motherfucker right there. Yeah, yeah. He's like Serpentor to the... to you yeah. Know. Cat, uh, uh, Cobra Commander, you know, he's... And and the cool thing about him, too, is um, every figure had, like, their name and, like, a little, like, descriptor subtitle. Right. This guy's was um, Scareglow, Evil Ghost of Skeletor. So, like, that could be interpreted many ways. Like, right, is like, this the ghost of Skeletor? Yeah. What you're the like, fu- like, that's awesome. I don't know what that means, but that's awesome. Well, they already give you that. He, he, who knows what time and plane he's from. Like, yeah. that kind of like, what's the what's that word? Uh, there is a word for that kind of uh, being. Amalg- oh, God. It escapes me. It escapes me. So, um, yeah, so what a character. I mean, uh, ghost of Skeletor. Uh, a really weird kind of like descriptor with you know kind of left the whole kind of story open he didn't really show up in the cartoon so it was uh a character that everyone really loved and like i said if you were a monster kid it was a figure that you had to have and uh i have uh <laughs> i have a few of them now new ones <laughs> uh you know it's dude it's 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 the perfect in my in my estimation it's like the perfect action figure like it, it's it's right awesome do you have it like behind like lasers so that people can Oh, the original one? Yeah. Um, yeah, that one's packed away. Uh, I mean, I don't uh, I don't even take it out. Um, it's uh it's so fucking cool. And then I have I have a few of the uh, the newer released ones though cuz those ones are open and I can fuck a playlist, so. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah. It, you know, that's uh, it, it's, I had to pick it. I mean, it's 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 one of those ones where it's like uh, you know, something about glow in the dark toys man like that gimmick like i don't care i think it's just i think it's fucking awesome yeah yeah so and this one this is one of the best this was one of the uh this is one of the great toys of uh of my childhood (laughs) yeah honorable mention uh glow in the dark toys the um the toys from casper well they were from pizza hut okay but they were from the movie casper and they were mm-hmm. like all the ghosts that were glow in the dark. Right, 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 right. And when we would play hide and go seek in the dark in my basement, yeah, you'd get caught in the face with one of these fucking rubber things. Right. And it sounded like puck. It sounded so bad because they were hollow. You just get smacked <laughs> with this thick rubber toy in the yep. face. And you're like, oh. and then I'll turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's actually hurt. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So shout out to that. Nice. All right. Uh, my next one, man. It's and it's it's still a, a part of me because I got to get the new NECA versions. Okay. Like I took a different road with them, okay. but it's, it's the original Ninja Turtles and the Universal Monsters uh, collaboration. Mm-hmm. Um, so the Universal Monsters were at a uh, merchandising height in the '90s, and the Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys were one of the most dominant toy lines in stores. Uh, it would only make sense that Playmates and Universals would partner on an odd but fun toy line in the early 90s. Uh, Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were everywhere in the 80s, 90s. Uh, they still are on toy shelves to this day with popular animated series and films having just opened, so we, we know all this. But uh, over 1993 and 1994, Playmates Toys released eight action figures across two waves of remodeled Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures. And, you know, we were a family that had to have all of them, like we had to. Oh, yeah. And, oh, God, they're so good. Um. So you had. <laughs> I'm looking you at stuck him. Stuck in nostalgia, right there. I'm just looking at him, dude, and it's like, 
Leonardo is Wolfman. Yep. Which yeah, everyone that's a listener knows how what I feel about Wolfman. Uh, Raphael is the mummy, which we all know in the new NECA series, Michelangelo is the mummy. Mm-hmm. Michelangelo's Frankenstein's monster, which we mm-hmm. all know in the NECA figure is Raphael. And Donatello is Dracula, and it's sick. They're all so good. Like, all yeah. four of them. Uh, I'm looking at them right now, and I got, I got to find them again. And then the second run. The second wave was in 1994, mm-hmm. and it was April as the Bride of Frankenstein, which NECA yep. continued, which is cool. Yep. Um, Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Leonardo. Mm-hmm. Michelangelo is the Invisible Man, which in NECA is Donatello. And then Raphael as a... Uh, <laughs> Metaluna mutant. So it's like that classic, you know, fifties like brain alien. Yeah, the Metaluna yeah. mutant from yeah. uh, the Silent Earth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they're dude, they're so oh my god, they're so good. They're so I I, I you know, I, I they're gotta be in a tub somewhere and probably in the garage <laughs> of the house that we had. Yeah. Oh god, they're so good. But, but it, no one knowing my mom though, she probably like donated them. Uh, <laughs> you know what's weird uh, about uh your just mentioned the NECA ones. Why the hell did they have Leo be the hunchback? I don't know. It's kind probably, of a waste, in my opinion. They probably wanted to do the sword through the shell thing. I really think that's what it was. It was uh, the they could play with the toy and do the sword through the shell thing. Yeah, but they, they like they really missed an opportunity to have a creature uh, turtle like that. Like I don't know. I, I think, uh, in my opinion, that's a missed opportunity right there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think. The best two so far um, is the Frankenstein one, which I have. I'm in the mark for the Michelangelo, and I love the Splinter Van Helsing. <laughs> I got to get those two. I'm going to get the rest. I have to have this bundle just because <laughs> of my affinity for Universal Monsters and the Turtle Toys. Like oh, man. The April one is, is kind of goofy, too. I got to be honest. Right, but it's it's a play on the original. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I, I, need, I just I need that series. I do need that series. I hear you. Like, but now looking at the pictures, dude, I need the old series. I gotta yeah, find there's, these. Yeah, turtles, man. That that's a series that keeps getting more and more expensive. Yes, sir. So they no, should just I, say I, fuck I, it and make a cartoon with the Universal Monster Tur- Monster Turtles. I mean, come on, <laughs> just do it, pussies. Come on, <laughs> N- Nickelodeon pussies. Uh their latest iteration of the turtles was so terrible but we won't get into that yeah (laughs) well uh my next pick kind of relates to yours um because um this is also a universal monsters themed uh pick now here's something that uh i think uh needs to be mentioned how important uh kids meals toys were to us as kids right yep they were yep. just better. Like they were just like uh, some of my favorite toys of all time were like Happy Meal or Kids Meal toys. Right. And in '97, uh, Burger King released these four Universal Monsters like action figures, like full on action figures. Kids, come meet your new sitter. <laughs> Looks like a good time to check out Burger King. <laughs> Costume. I'm so scared. <sighs> Universal Studios monsters are on the loose. You can get one toy and glow in the dark sticker inside every kids' club meal at Burger King. Wow, really nice costume. Burger King Kids Club. Great food, cool stuff, kids only. And I really don't think anything has like been like released that are of, of their like like since. You got. Uh, Dracula that comes with a coffin that he rises out of. You got Wolfman who's like in that chained box that he like leaps out of. Mm-hmm. You got a creature that that squirts water, and then you got uh, Frankenstein who came with a, a battery powered um, like table that like his head was translucent, so it looked like he was lighting up. Dude, we were kings. <laughs> we were, man. We were. We had it all. I, I, like Ugh. these are and they each came with um this little like poster kind of thing of them and a glow in the dark sticker of each of the monsters. The only thing that that could have made it better is if they included the mummy. Yeah. Man. And it's, and I get it. They had to narrow it down to 4 and I know why they picked the 4 that they did for the action features. What's the action feature of the mummy? He you falls know? apart. He falls like 
yeah. dropped the ball, you could have squeezed it and his limbs come back together. But yeah, it, like that it, swamp thing thing. Yeah, but Burger King wasn't trying to, you know, no, but to drop the dime. Still, on man, the, these these are like these are gold standard for like uh, like kids meals toys. I mean, I, I remember when these came out. Like, I remember I, I heard about them in school. My one friend came in with one. I was like, oh, what's that from? He had the Dracula. He's like, dude, they're in the they're in the, the Burger King kids meals. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, as soon as I got home, I was like, "Mom, gotta go to Burger King. Gotta go to Burger King." Yeah, he's like, I- "All right, <laughs> four times in a row." He yeah, to go. I was like, "Gotta get them all." No, my actually like, um, no man, I like my mom was one of the first that like was not shy to be like, "She's like, oh, you want you just want the toys? You just go inside." She's like, "I just want the toys. Just give me one of each." And she got them. Mama Dukes would do would do that for your boy too. Yep. No. Eventually, because um, uh, with the Pokemon ones at Burger King, because they had the gold. Ones I that were coming, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but no, yeah. no, I'm sorry. Continue. I'm sorry. No, no, that's no, all good. But um, yeah, man, that like those are t- still to this day, and I still have my originals. And then I bought a new set just that weren't scuffed up because I I lost the lid to Dracula's coffin or whatever. But uh, these are great, and dude, you can get they're cheap. You can still get them because there were so many of them made. You can get them like right. a full set for like twenty bucks. So like if if you're a fan of Universal monsters, anyone listening, go scoop up a set because these are fucking great. I might have to do that. I might. Yeah, have they're to. they're they're great. So yeah, there, I mean, there was another honorable mention that McDonald's did at one point where they went mm-hmm. full board back into Halloween. It was way past the tubs, you know. Yep. Um, it was, and they released these uh, cassettes with them. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they had. And I remember like being obsessed, and, like Chris and Ark be like, "You, you little kid." I'm like, "I'm fucking ten. Yeah, I'm a little kid. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah I want these. So what do you mean? And what, they the had McNugget like, buddies. Yeah, the McNugget buddies, and they would also have. The costumes, you and you'd you'd get the the, the cassette tape. Yeah, you play with them. You listen, and they would have like a haunting we will go, like all these yeah. songs and shit. And they yeah. would make it fun of me. Like, we fucking, I was probably nine actually. I was nine. Yeah, my my dad was still alive. Like it was far behind. You know, like <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm a little kid. Yeah, hey, I want, you, I want a year Halloween older than stuff. Nora. Yeah, right. Yeah. I want I want I want to hear Halloween stuff with my McDonald's toys. Are you absolutely. Nuts? Speaking yeah. of uh, speaking of McDonald's, uh, they're gonna be re-releasing those buckets this year, man. I mean, my kids already want them, so I have an excuse to go get right. them. Right. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna lumber in there in this year's Halloween costume and yep. be like, "Boy," and I'll point to Brittany, and nice. I'll make her I'll make her bring my Leviathan axe over, like I, you know, like like, she, right. like, I, like I grabbed it. Yeah, the people are just, just like, "You just gotta you just gotta pay for it. You don't gotta like get get crazy." Oh, I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, can I also have two 20 piece McNuggets? Put them in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> sweet and sour, sweet and sour, sweet and sour. Yep, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. So that, that's that's my uh, that's my third pick. I mean, what what a I mean, gold standard of uh, of kids meals toys, right behind the McDonald's uh, Transformers. Yeah, but that, <laughs> dude, but that's the thing. Like, man, how cool is that? Like, how cool is that for a little thing? Like, when actual like. You know, fast food toys were like cool and worth something, and like actually, dude, like, they, they were great, man. I, I I remember when I was a kid, like anytime a cool movie came out, you're like, oh, I can't wait to see what's going to be in the Happy Meals, and it was always yeah. something cool, man. Yeah. yeah. Now it now it's just it's junk. Yeah, it's like kids some, don't like, like toys the way they used to. It's true. It's true. Everything's video games. Well, not even that, like yeah. watching people play video games. You know, like, yeah, exactly. Like, Watch it. It's funny too because like uh, I think it was uh, yeah like when the last Avengers movie came out, like McDonald's did those like Avengers like figures that could like connect together, and I was more excited than anybody else I was. Like, oh, let's get them all. Let's get them all. <laughs> and you know, me and Lily, my older two, they're like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but they, Nora was like, yeah, dude, let's get them. Yeah, yeah. They, they were like, whatever, nerd. And you're like, yeah, exactly. I had all of them. I got, I found them all. I it was fun. You. I love you for it. I love you. Yeah, man. man. It's why not? Ah, man, those were such good times, man. I just yeah. the excitement, like the chill in the air, and mm-hmm. then you would pull up and you'd smell the fast food too. You know, it's yep. like you know, all that stuff was like it's cold, and you get the nip, and then all of a sudden you get the fucking flame yeah yep. <laughs> burger and then you back in burger king you could get those their old chicken tenders the little ones you yeah know? they were so it sucks they got rid of them like i don't need no big fucking things give me the, the bullshit yeah. chicken fries give yeah. me your bullshit ass chicken fries where are the tendies at yeah it, it's over man like it's actually funny yeah. you mentioned we I, I we had mcdonald's and i haven't had it in a long time i feel like i'm gonna die right now. <laughs> yeah it'll do it it'll and do that it food is not the fucking same either nothing tastes no. the same no 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 no, 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 
fucking chi- the chicken nuggets are are some sorry excuses for chicken nuggets. I I, I don't want to yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll still I'll still get down on them though. I'll still get down yeah. on some chicken nuggets. I, I still will. I mean, not it's whatever. Lie. It's just it's not. Yeah, not the same thing. Like you said, we were kings. Jay. Yeah, we, we were, were man. We fucking were. Even those monster cereals are not fucking same. I don't know. Nope, none of it is. So. It's like, anyway, put, put the antifreeze back in it or something. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, turn in our shit red or whatever yeah. the fuck they put in monster cereals. Like they were like, kids should not be eating this. Whatever, man, just do it. Yeah. Well, ah, come on, we're not eating all the time. You know, it's, <laughs> as we're adults now, it's like when we're drunk at two, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm not gonna make anything. Just yeah. giant bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. Or exactly. Uh, exactly. Make it that Eat again. That. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, moving on, and uh, you know. All right, so I'm going to start with this is a two parter just because okay. the one fed into the other. And okay. since we're talking about Universal Monsters here, mm-hmm. it's Todd McFarlane's Monster Play Set Series One and Two. They were great. Okay. And then, but this also bleeds into his mo- uh, the, the um, Movie Maniacs set. Oh, God. But the McFarlane Play Sets, the, the first series, dude, I remember seeing them. I forget who told mm-hmm. me about them. And mm-hmm. I was like, "Wait, what?" And like at this point, I'm like, "What it was, 97?" So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm 10, and yeah. I'm like, "I'm, uh, where's my change? I'm putting everything in." You know, we're getting these motherfuckers, and yeah. I saw, I saw the the, the werewolf, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Wait, the hunter has arms you could pull off." And I was like, "Yep, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yep, yep, that's happening." Yep. You had the Frankenstein whose head comes off on the thing and has Igor, the crazy yep. Igor. The Dracula also had a hole. In his chest that you could, that with Van Helsing, you could stick the stake in. Yeah. Then and then you had the Hunchback in Notre Dame. So that was the first series, right? Yep. I'm mm-hmm. looking at him right now, and I'm like, so weird. I just didn't put him in a fucking box and take Dude, him. Dude, even the I Phantom went. one was badass. Yeah, the Phantom one. That was, I think, that was series two. I'm pulling it up right it now. It was. One second, ninety-eight. It's loading. Yep, there it is. So this, yeah, series two was another basic frankenstein one but Mm -hmm. this one was like like oh this one's like gory and i think Mm -hmm. the monster more is dr frankenstein here yeah Mm -hmm. and then you have the mummy which is obviously it's todd mcfarlane's mummy so it's so much cooler yeah you know he's got uh, it's so drapey the phantom of the opera and then the creature the creature is great that that design of the creature is awesome yeah and and it's i had them all and i'm I left so much stuff in that house that I used to live in. I just <laughs> uh, well, you know, you're not uh, you're not sentimental, so true, true, true. <laughs> but then the uh, so that led up to my had all those and those when I was still kind of playing with toys. But then you know, in this era, I I got into the setting my toys up and just staring at them. Oh yeah, yeah. I got into that point, and that was the '98. And the uh, so the 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 movie Maniacs like was from '98 to 2005, but like you had. You know the Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger. There was like two Freddy Kruegers. Then they had, mm-hmm. uh, oh God, they yeah the two J- the bloody and the non bloody. So I was the guy yep. that would get the bloody and the non bloody. I had the leather faces. I had I had um I didn't I, I was never a Chucky guy. I, I wasn't really into that ghost but, face. Yeah, well I didn't I wasn't even into ghost face really. But I had the Michael Myers. I had the pumpkin head. I had um I never I got no I didn't even get the thing one. I didn't get the thing one. Uh, there was um, damn. I didn't know we were talking about this. I have Michael Myers and Jason uh, still in the package here somewhere. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then they would. They even had um, bloody version of Jason. Right. And then they even had the characters from um, Sleepy Hollow. They the oh Sleepy, yeah. They, they, yeah. I had all those. They were lined up. Um, that oh god, there's so many. Remember the Blair Witch ones? Yeah, that was the one that was so. So rewind a little bit. So the year that these came out, I worked at Toys R Us. So and I was in high school, and all my friends were like, "You work at Toys R Us?" I was like, "Yeah." They're like, "Dude, did the movie Maniacs come in yet?" I'm like, uh, "I." So like, I went to work that day, and like, I, I was one of the guys that unloaded the truck. So I looked at the manifest, and it was on there. I was like, "Oh shit!" So this is before cell phones. Yeah, yeah. before cell phones, kids. Uh, <laughs> I went, I you know, I went and picked up one of the phones and called my buddy. I was like, "Dude, they're they're here." <laughs> You right. hit up their pager and you were like nine one one nine one one nine one one and they're basically like, yeah, yeah basically Ca- called their, their their room phone because uh, <laughs> you know teenagers of, of my age had, you know when you like graduated eighth grade your gift was all right you get a line in your room that's yep. what, and that's oh yeah I, yep. oh yeah so, I had one yep 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 I still know the phone number dude um, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful 
Beautiful. Yep. Um, nice. So, um, so anyway, uh, I go to work. You know, I, I, I see that it's on the truck manifest. I call my buddy. I'm like, dude, they're here. So he comes in and like, dude, that fucking those cases. It was like four cases of they didn't even fucking make it to the shelves because like my buddy came in and then the, like some dude was there. He's like, dude, oh, what the fuck? They, they came out and it was yeah, it was Jason, Freddy, Leatherface. Was Candyman in the first series or the second series? I think the second because it was it was Michael Myers, it was Jason, yeah. it was Freddy. I remember yeah. those three from the first series. Jason and Freddy were the two that people were fucking like climbing over each yep. other to get. Mm-hmm. And then like of course Leatherface, but those were the two I remember because um, people wanted them. And then the in every pack there was one bloody version of each one. So let's right. say there was like three Jasons, one yeah. one of each mm-hmm. was, was bloody. And like, dude, people would come in there, and like, I remember that whole that that fall, that entire year, the first year that I worked at Toys R Us, people just coming in like every day, every other, every like other customer was like, "Oh, you guys got the movie Maniacs?" I'm like, dude, yeah. they, we got them, and they they're gone. They're like, "Well, when they come right. back in," and then I remember they would come back in, and like, dude, people would just like they'd go fucking crazy for them, and like, I yeah. forget which one was the peg warmer because there was one that nobody wanted that was always there. Oh, I forget which one. I have to look at a picture of which was in the series one, but there was one that like was just like nobody bought it. It may have been Chuck. It may have been Chuck. It's probably Chucky. Well, yeah. see, this was see when these came out. This was in the time where um, Michael Myers. They yeah. were actually making better Halloween movies than they were Friday yeah. the Thirteenth, or yeah. you know, Nightmare on Elm Street was pr- pretty much done. So like yeah. at that point, Jason had become a joke. And they were, you know, you had, uh, you know, the curse of Michael Myers, you know, Paul. This was before he got Kung Fu kicked out of a window. (laughs) Could you cut that in here, please? So you want to be on Dangertainment? Let's see what you got. I actually, I, I want to almost cut in his entire speech where he's like, Michael Myers is a killer <laughs> shark who gets his kicks. What can you tell us about Michael Myers? Michael Myers is not a soundbite, a spinoff, a tie-in, some kind of celebrity scandal. Michael Myers is a killer shark. Baggy-ass overalls. He gets his kicks off of killing everything and everyone that he comes across. Like, dude, I just anyway, but um, <laughs> that this was before that. This is yeah, the curse I, I, of I Michael Myers. Oh yeah, yeah. This is two prior to that. This is right. curse of Michael Myers, then H two O, where it yeah. was still kind of serious. That one had LL Cool J. You know, he survived. Yeah. So cool. But um, like <laughs> I was, that was when I was deeply into Michael Myers at that point. Yeah, because he didn't become a huge fucking joke. You know. Uh, yeah, because like, he was still cold during the uh, the what they call it, the Thorn trilogy. Yeah. Yes. And, so. Uh, um, yeah. And then you know, then that piece of garbage Rob Zombie got his hands on, it and just was that before or after the monsters? Way before. And <laughs> thank God, thank God, people were speaking up. You mean it's great? <laughs> um. Anyway. Is it, is uh, it up yet? Is it up yet? Is it? It is. is. It oh, uh, from God. what I understand, it's on Netflix. I'm, we should watch it together. Just you know. All right. To watch it Saturday. All right. <laughs> we only yeah. have three three episodes to record, so yeah, maybe we'll do it. Yeah, maybe we won't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather watch it where I could just like be mad and be like, just motherfucking. Yeah, fuck. I'm not gonna watch it. Right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there were a lot uh, of cool the movie main X figures. Oh, no, like, they. They started like they started going crazy and getting more and more, and I was yeah. just like, I can't keep up. And then I grew out of it, and I, yeah. like, fi- I finger banged my first person. So it was, wow, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I think that, I... Mm, yeah, mm. I'm not gonna go into that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, no. Uh, these are so these are so great, and like I have, you know, it's it's your pick, but man, I have you know I have personal history with them. Just oh, and another thing that was really cool was um, McFarland. They were based in New Jersey, so there was um, back then people used to like come out and like come out to Toys R Us and like look at the setups. And there's this one guy who used to work for he worked for McFarland. He used to come right. to the store every once in a while to just make sure this 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 stuff was set up. And I used to ask him, I was like, Oh, you know, what's coming out, whatever. And he used to have pictures. He'd be like, Oh, this is coming out soon. And it was like um it was like the Dark Ages spawn. I was like, Holy shit, that's awesome. And then he was like and then he was like, I'll check this out. And it was like the she, I got to see pictures of the Metal Gear Solid toys before they posted them. Once they came out, dude, I had all of them. I had yeah. to that yep. and then we were a spawn family because we were yeah. a comic family. Yeah. So we had you know, Chris one time dragged my dad to this like obscure because we had our comic book stores. Yeah. Chris dragged my dad to this one place it was like ABC Comics up where my brother Eric lives now. Okay. I don't even and this is before the internet. So I don't know how yeah. he found it. They had mm-hmm. the Malabulja. They had the the oh yeah like, fourteen inch. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you stand them up straight and like with the curly hair yeah, for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you could you could braid it if you wanted to or whatever. <laughs> but like yeah, he's like dragged him out there and we yeah. got it and I. I Cause you know, we were, you know, they, back then they had all the spawn figures at Kmart, you know what I mean? Like yeah. back when toy sections were toy sections, you know, you yeah. get like all no, the episode I, one star Wars figures at Kmart, you know, KB toys. That's where I used to find them. Oh, what another lost, lost, uh, lost civilization. <laughs> my, my wife and like Boyd worked at KB toys apparently oh, at so the same I. time too. You know, he, he Boyd was apparently a manager. She was there, so he's like, "Oh, what's up, man?" She's like, "You know, that was going." He's like, "Dude, you're, you're gonna marry my one of my best friends." You know, <laughs> all right, that's how it worked yep, out. I, I also yeah. worked at KB Toys. I I, nice. I worked at both the stores, so nice. you know, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, uh, dude, I, I I know I have a bunch of them in one of my tubs that are in the garage at the old house. Yeah, at that haunted fucking house that I used to live. <laughs> in. Do you remember that one time that I came over and like? Somebody had like a bin of toys. I don't know if it was yours or Eric. It was ours. It was ours. Okay. It was ours. We yeah. went through that whole box. That that was cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. To oh yeah. Be, to be to be a king again. <laughs> <laughs> Your so, dog looks up. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'll be like, oh don't worry, you're retiring soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From royalty, pal. Right, right. All right, so uh, my uh, fourth pick. Um, now, this one, God damn it, this one. This was released before I was born, so this was like a legendary toy by the time I came around. Uh, Kenner's 1979 18-inch alien figure. Kenner presents new alien action figure. Kenner. Um, wow. Uh, this, all right. So first of all, this, this, this was like my unicorn for years. <laughs> right. And I have one and it's in mint condition. And it's, it's like one of my most prized possessions. Like the, the, the jaws still work. The arms still work. Now, if you don't know about this toy, this was, this was released. <laughs> this was released with the film alien for children. A movie right. that has brutal, brutal death scenes some of the most at the time brutal death scenes the chest burster scene holy shit like that was like one of the most like at the time that was like the scene to see you know what i'm saying yeah like that doesn't happen in movies back then yeah yeah um you know like i said the figure has become infamous for the fact that it was recalled shortly after release under pressure from parents who criticized the sale of a children's toy that was based on a violent r-rated horror movie yeah, they're um, like our, they're like our toys are lawn darts and BB guns and things right. that can, and, and chemistry kits that can blow up in your face. Right? How could you right. sell this? <laughs> um, and then, although incredibly detailed for a children's toy, the figure was also poorly constructed and liable to breakage. That's true, and that's what makes it hard to have ones that are in good condition. Right. Uh, as right. a result of these factors, the toy has gone on to become one of the most sought-after alien movie collectibles, with mint unboxed examples selling for as much as a thousand dollars. That's how much I paid. Um, <laughs> Um, dude, it's so good. And 
Um, hopefully, we found the uh, the commercial for it uh, that we could cut in. Hopefully, we can find commercials for all these toys. I, yes. I know I can't find the one for the the ninja. We'll 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 work. Yeah, we'll work. I'm pretty confident you'll have just heard the uh, you'll have just heard the uh, <laughs> uh, commercial for this. But yeah, man, this 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 figure. I, I remember when I was just because um, do you remember when the the Kenner aliens came out like later on in the nineties? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like when they came out, I remember like um, like my one cousin was like, "Did you know there was a giant alien figure that came out like years and years ago?" I was like, "No," and like you know at the time when you're when you're kids, like aliens was the shit because mm-hmm. like that was in your in my mind when I was a kid that was the better film because it's like it's yeah. it, it's like that that like they actually credit that movie birthed the first person shooter shooter genre sure. like sure. Uh, it just did like the whole idea of the marines versus like the aliens that have mm-hmm. like you know numbers that just never end it's just you know it's just a thing you could always shoot at but um i heard about that toy and then like i finally saw pictures years later i was like what the fuck and then it became my thing i was like i have to get one of these and i think i got it in like 2015 2016 and like i just found some clown that was selling for it. he's like hey, look it's 100 percent complete i just i just got to get rid of it and i got it for a good price and like when i unboxed it i was like this is the size of a child i'm like this is fucking amazing <laughs> And the arms, you, you 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 do it. You do a thing on the back. The arms kind of like spring, and then the mouth opens up. And for some weird fucked up reason, the dome piece comes off. It's like part of it. It's really weird. And that's why you don't really see. Uh, people will be selling them without the dome piece a lot, but I have right. the dome piece. And then um, underneath, there's like a pattern underneath the dome, and it glows in the dark. It, it's. It, did I ever show you mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Oh, okay. I've, 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 I come on, man. I, I've you know, I, I've yeah. dug in. I've dug into your stuff. Yeah, no, um, it's yeah. Uh, that 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 toy, and then the fact that it was a forbidden toy on top of that makes it just yeah so fucking good. I mean, it, it's it it's probably my most prized uh, toy uh, item that I have. Yeah, well, my my newest most prized toy. I just got uh, shout out to Scarepros in uh, Levittown. I found it at San Diego Comic Con 2022. Of oh, the thing. Thing forty fifth anniversary per- poster. For- oh, do that to me. There he is. There he is. He was just showing me a figure he got for me. It's uh, to those who know me, they know I am I am Obi Wan Kenobi's biggest fan. <laughs> yes, and Jason, sec- is- yeah, yes. he secured me a Black Series uh, Obi Wan Kenobi from the new series. And you and McGregor and Obi Wan Kenobi are a couple of my favorite things. And yeah. Yes, this version is called the Wandering Jedi version. Uh, uh, I want the one with the I want the one with the blue where he has like the blue tunic and like the brown thing was over like at the beginning. I thought that was a cool outfit. Right. I'm waiting for that one. Yeah. Thank you for that, Jack. I can't wait to grab you're, it. You're welcome. You're yeah, I, I recently got the the poster version of the thing, and it, dude, yeah, that's the, a cool figure. The guy at the score, store, so we're we're walking around. And I'm just kind of like kind of dejected because he didn't have it, you know, and yeah. I've been looking for it. And uh, we're getting bred a couple things like decorations and like like a like a cool like super stylized coloring book of like that celebrities and I kind of just like look up to the right at one of the top shelves, yeah, <clears throat> and I see the holographic cover of the thing. You know, did you give it to John Hammond? Were you like, wait, there it is? Well, <laughs> and the music started. Yeah. Well, no. Before I did that. Before I did that. Before I was like, life finds a way. I uh, no, I just saw it and I, and I grabbed her arm. I was like, I think that's it. And I was you were like, there's a body? Yeah, I was like, there's a body swinging. There's a body swinging. And uh, I was like, I, I think I know that's it because right next to it is the gremlin in the bride, the female gremlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I go, I go, hey. And he looks up from like ringing my wife up. He's the owner. And I go, is that the San Diego Comic Con thing? And he goes, yeah. How much? Because I'm doing it for a hundred. He goes, I seen online, like blah 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 blah. You know, like I seen it goes for this that. I know the value is just gonna go up, and I wanted to get him at a hundred. I was like, all right, you just grab it for me, grab it for me, grab it. I'm taking, it, I'm taking. It. I look at Brittany. I'm like, should I, should I, should I? She's sure, like, sure, you sure, really sure, want? Sure, 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 yeah, because cool, yeah, sure, 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 sure. And the thing was, because I've been looking for it, right? And I've been telling her, like, I gotta find this fucking thing. Yeah. And like, I see it, and he brings it down. He goes, Have you seen one in person yet? And I was like, No. He goes, Open it. And I opened it. And like validation, like, does it actually light up? Yes, yes, it That's lights awesome. up. 
and it has the interchangeable face so it has yeah, the yeah. light coming out and also just the regular plane like yeah. face yeah it lights up and the detail on the like his arms and legs yeah i was like yeah i'm walking out with this fucking thing i was like yeah and a big thing too is a lot of those shipped out from neca damaged the dude boxes. don't even get me don't even get me started on yeah. fucking neca and their quality control yep. i've had so many broken fucking toys from neca it's unbelievable they're the ball joints for the hips and the knee joints always break right it's right. It, it, it's an epidemic and their boxes this year have been going out so damaged and like there's one little tiny little crease on this one yeah and i was like all right i'll let it go and you know me i'm just gonna keep it in boxes so i can stare at it you know? yeah no it's, it's, it's a great figure and i was like i needed this and I, I i walked away i was driving home and i was just like did i make the right decision you know then i got home and i looked at it again and i was like okay i'm good but <laughs> yeah, I, had, I, I had to do it and yeah uh, i have the uh i have the mccready like the ultimate version of mccready yeah i have and that this, too yeah and then this year they're releasing the the dog thing the, i gotta have that. that that is so fucking cool yep same yep i, I saw those and i still I, have the um speaking of movie, movie maniacs i still have the blair thing uh monster from the movie maniacs line the 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 blair yeah, the, yeah, he's the monster from the end when he has like the, the, the half face. It's like yeah. the tooth thing. Yeah, I, I still have that. For him. Nice. Yep. And see, that's the big thing too. I love that NECA though, even though the quality control right. and everything, like I love, I love that that's keeping alive. And they did the Ninja Turtle series. That's like the Universal one. So I'm like, that's my new hunt. Yeah. But um, yeah. No, that's it's so good. It's so good. The alien figures when they came out when they re-released them in the '90s, like we went mm -hmm. crazy. Because yeah. they were doing the comic book series of Alien vs Predator, yeah, yeah, and they yeah. made so many of those toys, and I was just like, "Mom, I will, I will eat my arm off if I don't get all these fucking." You know, like. Oh, dude, the, the '90s, the '90s Kenner Alien series was like, I remember when I, I didn't even know they existed. I remember we went to this toy store, and I remember the night we got them, like it was a rainy night. That, <laughs> I have weird memories. I, I remember all this crazy shit, and I got the Scorpion Alien, the one that blows up. Um, he squeezes legs and he blows up because it's the only one that really looked like a regular alien. Mm -hmm. And dude, yeah, they were they were doing like the whole because they were doing like the Batman series at that time where there was all like yeah. the different versions. It's like Aqua Batman, Batman in space. Batman yeah, well, in, yeah, yeah. It was it was informed by Alien Three because in Alien Three the, the the you know face hugger goes on the dog and it kind of like took on some of the like physical characteristics of the right. dog, so they kind of like ran with that concept. So then you have like the bull alien, the gorilla alien, yeah. the scorpion alien, the, the man mantis alien, badass. That was the clear green uh, green one. I love the gorilla alien. I yeah, loved the yeah. gorilla alien. Word of water, very cool, dude. So good. And they all came with a different color face hugger to put on the marine figure. Yep. Dude. They just don't make toys like this shit. Anymore. They don't. Yeah, they don't. And it's it's because the media the mediums change man like people don't want to they don't people, the kids don't want to just like touch stuff they're like no it's in my screen no and then there was the playset that i never got <laughs> this is going to be my other one but uh but i have it now so it doesn't count um <laughs> was was the big queen aliens playset she was called the mother alien it was the hive playset you could put the you could put the marine in there and, and the slime would dump on them out of her egg sac so fucking good dude when they oh man they're like they have slime now. They're using slime as toys, but it's like you're yeah. not incorporating any like incorporating it with awesome action figures or stories. It's just like here, slime, play with the kids. Yeah, and oh. Lily, my daughter, she uh, she plays with slime like crazy still. But I'm like, yeah, but I had action figure sets like you know the the slime pit, the He Man figure, where you would like you know tie the guy in there and watch the shit ooze over his face. Yeah, and you're like, like yeah, oh, He Man, the take it. <laughs> yeah, like, like this is the best day of my life. Look, yeah. at, look at you just getting covered in slime, you hero, <laughs> stupid hero. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, speaking of that, speaking right, right, of that right, 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 brings me to my last one. Uh huh. And this was another one that, like, you know, because everyone, once again, that is a listener that knows me, uh, we celebrate my birthday on Halloween because you know my mom went into labor while trick or treating with my brothers and i was born that night uh shortly the labor me. yelling at chris yeah, yeah <laughs> and uh i almost killed her you know this giant head of mine mm. and all, the, all there's a lot of stuff about it but uh one of my birthdays it was we're on halloween and it was the Plato mad monster creator 1994. 
in the dungeon in my science lab. I create glowing monsters that'll drive you mad. Mad monster creator, it'll fill you with fright. Mad monster creator, they're a monster sight. When I fill them with dough, they come alive. But you're in for a shock. There's a skeleton inside. I create a monster. Whoa. Yeah. Anything goes. Whoa. With Play-Doh. Play-Doh's mad monster creator and multicolored glow in the dark six pack. Each sold separately. Oh yeah. And the com- you go back to the commercials and you see it. And they also they have that Terminator. Uh, toy series oh uh, i have a few of those yeah, yeah we well, we were i was i shared the uh, uh commercial for it on social media like i had this and it was the one where well before we get to that so this <laughs> this man monster maker you know i saw the commercial and i was like oh, and then my mom was just like boom on my birthday you know like nice bah! you know I'm like suck on that bitch you know like i was like <laughs> Jesus. Ah. yeah Mom, why are you so aggressive? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can try me fucking that. No, but, um, exactly. But uh, yeah, so like, you know, <laughs> I open it up and I'm down there and like the, it's so cool. Like, it literally is just a glorified like pump, right? Yeah. But like, they make it look like a Frankenstein table and you have this tube that sits on top of it. Yep. And inside, you have different like templates of creatures. Oh, yeah. And, and then you have the shells that'll make different creatures so you can mix and yep. match, you know? Yep. So you put them in and you squish your different color Play-Dohs and it surrounds them. You open up, there's your Play-Doh monster. It has that, you know, it's almost like a sausage smell. <laughs> like, you're, like, <laughs> you're like, yeah. And then it gives you a little knife to like cut open the bones and the stuff inside. And you're like, you're like, I could be a surgeon. You're like, I could. You're like, <laughs> you're like I'm so good at surgery and, and medical stuff. You're like, I'm yeah, this isn't a toy. This is this is experience, you know. Yeah. You're like, I found I found my calling. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure my mom when she bought it, she's like, He's gonna be a doctor. He's gonna <laughs> be a surgeon. He's gonna be great. And in reality, no, I just, you know, I played with it, I cut it up, and then I was like, Spawn or like, you know, whatever <laughs> the next toy was, the next thing, you know. No, it was I remember it, man. Dude, Play Doh had some great fucking uh great fucking sets uh yeah. remember the ghostbusters one with the uh the uh ecto one and the top opened up and it was a mold for the different ghostbusters mm-hmm. one and it came it, it, that was a great set uh yeah, plato plato ruled the world for a while man they they, they, they were they did yeah legos fucking came in and just like knocked oh. them off they knocked them off lego lego needs to be taken down a peg i love legos but they are so fucking expensive like i i can't even deal with it at this point like they have well, such like a, great sets but it's yeah. like dude i'm not paying three hundred dollars for this it's, well, it's insane. yeah it goes back to the licensing like we've said you know it go, they they've they've managed to like get everything like they're they're doing everything you know yeah th- then they should be able to lower their fucking prices <laughs> right right but then they know there's some like old <laughs> asshole like me and you out there that see a set and we're like Dude, they have two full aisles in any Target. What other toy has that? You're right. None. You're right. So they they need to they need to chill the fuck out. Dude, I'm so mad at my local Target. Like, because they were for a while, they were killing it with the neck, and I was like going, I'm like, oh, I was getting scores, you know. And then yeah, and now I'm going, and it's like just gargoyle, alien, predator, and then like a random Biff from Back to the Future. Like, I'm like, <laughs> this one okay, by he, this one by me. Uh, it's been doing pretty good. They've been having uh, good stuff. Uh, Cause I, I mean, there hasn't been an announcement yet, but I'm just like, I just want to walk in there and be like, Oh look, here's the predator from uh prey. Cause that's, I want that. I want to right. right. <laughs> Well, the movie, the movie kicked ass. So. Oh dude. I loved it. Yeah. We've yeah. watched it. Uh, Christina loves it too. Like loves it. So like we will be working. We've had it on like three or four times already. Like it's, it, it's just a good movie. No, it's definitely good. It's definitely cool. I love the, the time period playing with that. And yeah, Play Doh. <laughs> no, the Predator Play Doh set. Yeah, Rip right. your victims in half. <laughs> yeah. Do you uh, remember it wasn't exactly Play Doh, but it was Nate, it was a Play Doh type thing, the Terminator set that had the, the flesh that you could rip off? Do you remember well, that? That's, set? Yeah, that's what I was talking about when I, when yeah. I, when I was going in. Yeah. Like, talk about hard to get materials to redo yeah, it. The bio you the, flesh. Yeah. You had to get that packet. And it's like, yeah. where am I? You're never going to find that again. And I remember, nope. like, a couple of my uncles were over, like, you know, and it was years after Terminator 2 came out. It was like, yeah, yeah. It was like seven years after Terminator 2 yeah. came out. Oh my gosh, check this. You know, both my uncles were looking, and I was like, look, cut his arm off, like, in the movie. And they're like, yeah. 
like there's been so many movies since then like how are you even like still into this and i'm like look i'm doing this hey, fuck you man <laughs> yeah like the arm moves too like yeah. you know, like what the fuck man but then you'd, yeah. you'd move it and it'd have that like fleshy like you know like break yeah. in it and like yeah like, all right and then like when you were done you were done it was like yep. Yep. Where where am I gonna get this flesh? I remember seeing it in the store one time, the refill canisters, and it was like it was a small thing of play doh size. It was like eight dollars, and my mom was like, "Nope." Yeah, <laughs> she's like, "Just she's get like, another figure." I was like, "You know, yeah. you're right." Yeah, she's like, "You had your fun that 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 week." Yeah, that three day period. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, move That's on. Fun. Yeah, and then the play doh gets stuck in the fucking carpet, and there's not enough to fill up the thing. Just forget it. Nah, dude. There was a point where I was in the like miniature models. I got this like. Star Wars Cantina set. Mm -hmm. They came with model paint. Spilled yeah. some on the carpet, dude. <laughs> you want to talk about a blow up? <laughs> I'll bring it up when we finally get my mom on. I'll be like, hey, remember when you traumatized? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, 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 oh. yeah. Yep. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. All right. So for my last pick, uh, and I saved this one for last because. <sighs> This fucking series of action figures checks all the boxes for what, like, a scary, kind of spooky action figure series should be. And it is 1987's Tonka Supernatural. Supernatural! Now you can join the battle between brave Lionheart and the evil Skull and their eerie ghostlings. Lion, you're dying! Now, Master! They change to fight with ghostly might. Turn them into the light, and they change into even more powerful creatures. Now, the wine in me is free. Take this. Ah! Supernaturals. Lionheart, Skull, and Ghostling sold separately. New from Tonka. Yes, there you go. That is, uh, is that Thunderheart? What's his name? I oh, yeah. You gave him to me. I never heard of him. Yeah. And I keep him with my uh, model of uh, Doctor Strange and... Uh, Wolverine up there. That's right. that's my new wrecking crew up there. Uh, now, if you don't know these figures, they're they're how would you describe? Them? They're, they're they're like a six inch six inch figure. They have um, it's like a, a line of different. You know, there's like a, a knight. There's a there's one that looks like Thor. There's a, an American Indian. There's like a skeleton dude. Then there's another like evil knight. And there's a snake guy. And there's all these little guys called uh, ghostlings. And um, they ha all have uh, holograms on, and that's, they're. That's how I was going to describe them. It was the uh, late '80s attempt to incorporate holograms and Hologram. everything. Yeah, yep. it was and, the and new I, tech. It was the new yep. tech. You know. Yep, and they all came with glow-in-the-dark weapons, and then a shield that had a um, a hologram on it. Uh, these things were fucking incredible. <laughs> I have. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they, so they featured these hollowed out chests and faces, and there's, instead of your your standard like plastic chest and face, a holographic sticker was like a, like stuck to that like flat surface in the chest. Yeah, and, and they're like you got like ghosts, uh, skeletons, ghouls, like they're awesome. Um, but the problem with it was they never made a cartoon series with it. So like they came and they did okay, and, but then they just disappeared because people were like, "Well, there's no cartoon with it. But the, what are we supposed to do with it?" <laughs> yeah. So well, how, how are we supposed to have fun, dude? Our but, own imagination. What are we yeah. What the <laughs> fucking drag off. Uh, imagination drag off. Yeah, exactly. And then they had, um, like I said, these little guys called the ghostlings, which were like these little. They were just like these little like goblin looking things that like. Uh, had the little holograms as well and um these things were just amazing and you had like good guys and the bad guys uh you had lionheart um uh, eagle eye and thunderbolt you have eagle eye yeah uh, jay we, he was telling me about him one of the last time of our, one of our recording sessions like two months ago and he's giver of the supernaturals and i was like wait now what and then he was yeah. and i quote here take thunderbolt you know you need a native american guy <laughs> you need this in your life Kevin. mm-hmm Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true it's, it's true. true and then there was the bad guys Bernhardt uh, who's this evil knight who's awesome uh, Snakebite who's this like Egyptian like snake pharaoh looking guy and then Skull who's my favorite one because he's just 
it just it's just awesome. And then you had the uh, there were the ghostlings, which if I if I'm correct, I think there were eight different ghostlings. And um, so there were four good ones and, and four bad ones. And they all had these little monsters in there, and they came with a, a glow in the dark sword. Um, lots of bootleg toy makers like to use these bodies to like make whatever garbage they make. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so all the figures, main characters, and ghostlings had double ch- uh, channel holograms. So it looked like if you it would they would turn into two different things when you move them, which is awesome. Um, uh, it, they were just. Dude, they were just they were just incredible. Well, yeah, and, at the time, I would imagine there wasn't uh, so much of like uh, that style of toy. So when they're like, these are called supernaturals, I imagine your nips were like, bing. Oh, dude, and then <laughs> and then the playset, which I never had, playset, the Tomb of Doom, right? The Tomb of Doom. It was a playset. It consisted of this like large removable coffin that you could put under this like big. There was this big like helmet skull. <laughs> like Viking looking thing and the coffin it had like an escape hatch thing so you would turn it and then it would disappear and then there would be a hologram um, just just so friggin cool and like I think that was behind like the basic premise of uh, uh, of the toys themselves was that like um, this ancient thing called the, the, the tomb of doom was like discovered and they open it and like all these these ghostly warriors from the past came out like the good ones would play the bad ones like dude this why hasn't this been rebooted yet? <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's it, almost it's almost like time killers, you know. Did you? Uh, I'm, I'm just. I'm <laughs> yeah, so that's that's my final pick, and I, these I love these things. If, if you've never seen them, take a look, and I'm sure we have the commercial for it because there's a few of them. Right. Um, there's this there creepy is, ass I, I lion. It's fine. <laughs> So anyway, uh, <laughs> something that was k- kind of similar, another honorable mention here. Um, uh-huh. They were going to be on my list, but they were called Skeleton Warriors. Oh, yeah, I remember those. And they eventually made a cartoon about it, but I remember I had the Chris, spider one. Right. I remember Chris found out about it somehow through one of our comic book store connections, and he like was just like, we need all these. Yeah. So, you know, my dad wasn't living with, with us at the time. So he convinced my mom to like raid all his Folgers coffee cans full of quarters, uh-huh. nickels and dimes. Or He's like, "We're just gonna go get all these skeleton warrior figures yeah. with this money, with coins." Yeah, he's like, "Dad doesn't live here." He's like, "What, <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> what is he coming back for his Folger cans?" He's Maybe. Like, he's like, "No, we're going to Toys R Us. We're gonna get our Italian fucking grandfather to drive us in his van. He doesn't even know <laughs> what's going on." I don't even know if that's how it went down. That's just how I remember it. Maybe yeah, it, yeah, man. But uh, yeah, he just like was like, no, nah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna. Get... He didn't care anything about the good guys. He wanted all the skeleton warrior figures, and just the one good guy that was part skeleton, who had like the because they all. Had oh those yeah, in... that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah, they all had the the, the gold the gold like BB in their eye, mm-hmm. and we got he got all those, and then he was just like, no, we just need we just need this one good guy, the one good guy that's like a spooky. <laughs> A spooky uh, good guy. The rest suck. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also have an honorable mention. I, 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 I'm only going to leave it. This is almost in the same realm as Ghostbusters for me because I have a real problem with this uh, this toy line. And problem meaning like I have everything to do with it. Uh, it's the Swamp Thing uh, series of toys from from Kenner. Uh, if you know me in in real life, you know that I have every <laughs> single figure boxed and unboxed. I don't even have one signed by Bernie Wrightson. Uh, I have all the figures, I have all the play sets, I have all of the vehicles, boxed and unboxed. I have a problem. <laughs> because they are, in my opinion, the greatest figure series ever produced. We had all of them too, man. They, dude, none of them were boxed. Dude, so Ripping back good. the fist on the cord where you pull it yep. back, there's a net. There's Yeah, we, yep. Yep, we, we had them all the too. The glow in the dark one. Yeah. Hold on, let me... Let me... <laughs> yeah. There it is. He is showing me a. Yep, there it is. Complete. It's not just in p- package. It's it's like almost hermetically sealed in in cellophane. I think this it's is gorgeous. like the fourth or fifth one of this one BioGo Swamp thing that I have still in the box. Yep. Yeah. 
Dude, humanity will cease to exist, and this thing will still be buried somewhere, still in its box. Yeah, they're going to find your skeleton reaching for it. <laughs> From your lips to God's ears. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I want to go. Yeah. Reaching for your fucking... No, I have it like this. I like those skeletons at like Pompeii. Yeah, like they're like, Ugh. yeah, I'm like oh, no. it's you, it's you and your entire Swamp Thing collection. You know, <laughs> it's like lovers. The, we found these lovers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. He's surrounded by melted plastic. We don't know what it was, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it gets even it gets even crazier. They're like by some by some mysterious force. All these figures were preserved, but this mm-hmm. guy's a skeleton. We don't know. Right, he right. Used, you used all your for your yep. energy, and then I'm just like I'm a skeleton. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> right, exactly. So you basically conjured whatever happened at you know yeah. fucking uh, Dyatlov Pass. <laughs> you were the com- <laughs> the compelling force to protect, right, right, to protect your Swamp Thing collection. Right, right, right. Yeah, so I just had to mention those because I, I couldn't go by without mentioning the uh, yeah. that legendary series of uh, action figures. And they're awesome. We, I had them. I had them all. Yep. I'd be in there. I'd, they'd be button heads with Bebop and Rocksteady and the bad guys who from. came with the big rubber monster heads. Yep. The unmen. Mm-hmm. Yep. So good. All right. So this brings us to our next portion here. I um, would say the never got, and then we should then then go to the uh, band because or the, yeah, it's the, the ones yeah. we never got. Yeah, and then. Yep. All right. So since I took lead on this one, yeah. Um, there's two different names of this, but I'm gonna go with the one that actually is the factual one. It's called Monster Face, okay, or Monster Head, as I've always known it. Yeah, but yeah, uh, it's Monster Face. It's it's another one of those play set ones. Um, the description basically from it is uh, Monster Face is a toy set launched by Hasbro in 1992 in the style of Mr. Potato Head. The toy consisted of a skull-like head with holes to which you could attach several accessories such as bugs fangs noses blisters and other things to create a monster based uh just crazy original face of your own and then it also came with slime to dip from it and it came with other pumps that you could pump out stuff and it's just one of those things that was like one of those like monster kids once again it's like oh i can i could create my own monster face and i'm sure jay like myself like we would watch like you know behind the scenes of you know all these different monster movies that we loved and you, you were like, oh, I could, I could be there. Yeah, like watching videos of how they made the dude's fucking face melt at uh, uh, in Indiana Temple, Jones. Yeah, Temple of Doom or no, no, uh, oh, or less Raiders. No, no, Raiders, Raiders. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, like so all that kind of stuff. You're like, oh man, it's so cool. And like, you're like I could, I could be doing that. And the commercial's great. And I'm gonna put it here. After that years. Well, Eagle could be more disgusting. How about some bubbling boils and green glass? Now I'm losing my lunch! Monster Face, the gruesome monster head you make and remake into the most monstrous monsters imaginable. <laughs> then you bring it to life! Now for the test! <laughs> it works! Monster Face comes with everything shown here. Boop. And, you know, it's one of those hyper nostalgic, like, ugh. Oh. God, to, to just sit there and remember seeing that and being like, oh, I want to wear a lab coat and, and make my own monster face. I want to <laughs> do that. Dude, that commercial was fucking weird. I just watched it the other night and I was like, shit. Yeah. I don't know. And you said you had this? You had this one? Um, yeah, I think we did. I think my brother had that one. And you were like in the head, you're like moving the eyes back and forth and shit. I just remember the fucking ears bothered me. I was like, what are these fucking ears? Like, because the face was like white skullish and they gave yeah. these weird fucking ears. Yeah, I was they like, have what? like, yeah, almost like elf ears that were green and shit. Like, and, yeah, I remember, yeah. and then years later, we just used it as a fucking target for like punching. We used to punch. So it like, it, we, we ruined that thing. That thing was in like a million pieces by the end. Like, it just became a, tar- like, we would just like Superman punch it. You know what I mean? Just like fly. It just. <laughs> It was a house of boys, man. You, you know, yeah. you come from a house of boys. So yeah, you know I do. Yeah. yeah, everything got broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, or lit on fire. I, I'm completely yeah. familiar. Yeah, with a house of boys. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, the, there's a big difference too. That, like, you know, like 
there was a point where we just started using each other's head as the monster yeah. face, the bunch, you know, yeah. and our friends. It got to a point where we're like, put on gloves. Let's go. You know, like, that's what was like <laughs> everyone. That was all our friends would come over. Hey, it's, you know, it's Thursday. You know, you go, oh, you guys sleeping over this weekend? All right, be ready to put on gloves because we're all just going, fucking, we're going crazy. We're going to have two on twos, one on ones. Yeah, ready, bro? Am? Yeah, you ready? You ready? It's going to happen. Nice. Yeah. Sick, bro. Sick, bro. Sick, bro. <laughs> All right, so for my my never got toy, uh, this one I actually uh, I completely forgot about. And I was trying to I, I almost picked one of the ones that I had for my on my list here, and um, this one I I, I kind of forgot about. Um, but this came out in 1979, which was two years before I was born, uh, and this is kind of why I, I didn't have it. Uh, it was called uh, by Mattel. It was uh, Gregory 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 the Vampire Bat. Now. I'd seen this thing. One of my cousins had it, and it's just it's it's basically just a big brown plastic bat, and it has like a uh, right. like a, a, a see through chest piece, and you push it on the back, and the blood pumps. And I always thought it was really fucking cool. I was like, wow, that's 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 awesome. And um, so the, by the time I saw it, I was probably like five or six. So the thing was, you know, getting around like eight years old. So like right. the blood was already like there wasn't much blood left in there. <laughs> yeah. So I like never a, had it. A powder. And, uh, yeah. So I never had it, and it, it was kind of, it was very similar to that one um, that one He Man toy, the mosquito one. The guy with the, and like he had the blood. Very similar mechanic. Very similar. Oh, oh I I pumped the fuck out of him. Man. Yeah, it's basically the same mechanic, and it's probably it's from the same toy company, so it's probably you know this exact same mechanism. But it was a it was a vampire bat, and it was like life size. And I wanted it, and like you know, like I I was mentioned before, my mom was the type that would go and you know she would always find me this stuff, but like you just couldn't get it anymore, and it wasn't like it is today. There's no secondary yeah. market, so it was just like, and I never got it. And I still don't have it because now they're one of those ones where it's like they're, they're they go for a pretty penny, and yeah, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna spend money on that thing, it better still have fucking blood in its chest, and they don't right. Of them do. So, um. And I was I was had a hard on for fucking vampires when I was a kid. Like Dracula was my god. Like so anything with vampires, Dracula, you know. I was watching Monster Squad every day. Like, you know, the baddest Dracula. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, the best. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like... If you don't think it is, watch this clip right here.
Give me the amulet, you bitch! Okay, and you just saw Dracula when the cop says to him, hey, hold it right there, he just punches him right in the face. That's all you need to know about that Dracula. None well, of those they'll, scenes... They'll be hearing guy. it. They'll be hearing yes. it. They won't be yes. watching... This is just strictly audio episode. That's right. Um, yeah, well, it's funny you mentioned the, the pumping thing, because there was one Halloween, you know, I was older, you know, I was, like, you know, going into high school, yeah. and... Uh, that technology became readily available for costumes. So yeah. I, got, I got the skull with the hood. Yeah, I had it. I had the it. heart, and then also the chest plate. Yeah. So I had two hearts in my hands, and and, and it knife. was fun. Did yeah. you have the knife? I didn't have the knife. I didn't need the knife. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't need the knife. I was, <laughs> I, I. It was funny because we were saying in the beginning we were kings. I, yeah. Uh, uh, a, a mutual friend of uh, me and a buddy, her name is Ray Love. She was talking about like who had these. Like yeah. she posted a meme, and I said I had not just the mask, but I had the chest plate. Yeah, that Halloween I was king, and I yeah. commented on that. And I was yeah. walking out with two hearts. I was looking at my friends. Are oh, you fucking you like yeah. your blood squirting out? You motherfuckers. Yeah, man. They, yeah. they 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 use that for everything. I had a Jason mask that did that too. Right. Uh, so, then there was, a, I remember there was a scream mask. Yeah. They, they, um, the they, knife that, was cool. That was the next year. So the first year okay. it was, it was like, you could remember, buy the full mm -hmm. you know, thing and it was just the skull. Yep, and I, I loved remember. it. I loved it just because the skull was like, oh, that's different. That's, you yeah. know, and that's cool. And then I saw the chest plate and I looked at my mom and I was like, I'll, I'll fight. Put me in yeah. the ring with someone to get this, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, then the next year, everything, everything was fucking blood screaming down its face and i was just like <laughs> what is this fucking ghost faces they have that i was at laser it was cooler when i did it right. i ended up looking like a giant puss but uh <laughs> but as all right so do. yeah as you do <laughs> so all right so for our last portion here do we have any honorable mentions before we go into no i i think i said it all man i mean there's there's definitely been you know other toys that i was into but you know sticking to the horror theme i think i i think i pulled out i think both of us pulled out the greats i mean if we miss something you know feel free to you know crucify us in an email or something yeah right right just comment <laughs> comment on the the video john yeah like, let us Even know if you man. just want to tell us that ken sucks i mean that's fine yeah, too. yeah. I'm, I'm used to hey, that tell me i suck i don't care anything yeah oh no one ever does that no Jesus. Uh, i'm sure they do <laughs> Someone who thinks your friends are drunk hunts. But anyway, um Right, right. Um all right, so this last one, we we came to actual uh mutual like wow, this is true for both of us. Our forbidden household uh toy. Yeah. Was the fucking Ouija board, man. Yeah, and I think probably for different reasons. Sure. I'm sure for different reasons. Are you, all right, so let me let me start off with mine. Go ahead. I was never literally told you can't have a Ouija board in this house yeah. until I was 24 and living with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even, man. You better leave even, that in. I'll leave it in. I was even <laughs> literally told that I couldn't watch a documentary on Ouija <laughs> I'm living with Chris at uh, the yeah. old haunted house I used to live at. Uh, yeah, when I'm 20. Uh, but but uh, growing up, like, so the funniest thing is, it's like you would hear the stigma. <laughs> well, my mom, my see, here here's what was cool about my mom, right? She'd be like, "Oh, that's bad. Don't mess with that." But she was always going to see psychics and shit and having like <laughs> run-ins with witches. Like one time, my mom was at a restaurant, right? And this old lady, I swear to God, this is a real story. This old decrepit lady walks up to my mother and starts speaking in this language. An old, you know, uh, I guess what we would say European mystic, you know, starts yeah. walking up to her with her garb and starts saying that there's she's cursed and all this stuff and tries to touch my mom's fucking head. And my mom's all like, you know, she's like, I'll stick, stick him a looks up your ass if you don't get the fuck out of here. You know, like, <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. You know, get the fuck. <laughs> But like, you know, but like if, if I was getting down with it, like if I was like, mom, come on, like, come on, mom, let's do a Ouija board. Come on, me and you, she would do it. But like, also, you know, my mom is, you know, my mom's super, my mom is super Christian, but 
she's cool Christian. <laughs> you know, like you know, like why is there oh. somebody else that's not? Oh no. <laughs> oh. Bruce, come on. Come on. But uh yeah, no, so like that was the kind of thing it's like, oh you're me- you're messing with the spirits, man. And like with my mom, it was there were so many spirits already. Mm-hmm. And she she couldn't deal with them all. <laughs> like she's already dealing with so many of them. There's so okay, many. Here. Here, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. There's too many. Oh, we're gonna bring more in. Like I can't. That's the mom thing. Uh, the one you live with Chris. It was like you're not gonna bring the bullshit in my house. Wow. <laughs> you know that like we're oh, gonna watch. You can't watch this documentary here. Guess what I did that night? Watch it on my fucking laptop in the bedroom next. To me. Yeah, because it's like first of all, I do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Second of all, I do what I want. Yeah, I'll wait for you to go to bed. <laughs> So you're okay. You're okay with it. <laughs> um, the yeah, spirits, well, there you go. spirits won't get you, but g- 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 give us yours. Give us yours. Um, so yeah, I mean, I w- I went to Catholic school when I was a kid, and um, the weird thing is, is like we weren't we weren't like oddly religious at all. We we like my family wasn't, but um, like this was like smack dab in the middle of a satanic panic. So like, <laughs> my my mom was just like, yeah, let's not. Let's. You can't have a Ouija board. I was like, why? She's like, well, it's you know, like, like devil worshippers use it, and then like, and then I know that my mom was like listening to my aunts. My I had these. Uh, it was it was her aunts, so it was actually like, right. But she had, but they had kids that were my age, so it was like this. I don't know. They were all convinced of all that shit. So like, yeah. I was just never allowed to have one. But when when I was a kid, like when it, the planchetta came with was glow in the dark. I was like, well, I I want that. It's fucking glow in the dark. But my mom, like, like, it wasn't like a thing where she was like, you know, the devil's going to come out of your, you know, ass or whatever if you like, <laughs> use this thing. But it was just like, y- y- we're just not having it. And I was just all like, right. all right. So then. The devil's going to come out of your ass. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever people believe. Uh, yeah. If you, if you fucking, go to Taco Bell or yeah. if you stop in at 7-Eleven and get like a, you know, cheeseburger bite or Bahama Mama, that's going to yeah. happen. Here. I mean, then a devil, devil's definitely coming out of your ass for that. Mm-hmm. But, um. No, nah, man, it's, uh, you know, I just never had it. And so we just never had them in the house. And then I remember we, I went to a Halloween party one year. And they're like, oh, you want to play with the Ouija board? I was like, I guess. And I was just like, what the fuck is the big deal? Yeah. I was like, you know, you're moving it, right? I, like, yeah. It's yeah. Just, and, you know, that was, that, that was basically it. And then um, got years later, <laughs> he doesn't, <laughs> they don't listen to podcasts. So I think it's fine. Years later, um, we were moving, uh, into my last house and i had one just because i had one because i just because you're one. you yeah you're i was just like I, I, I want one so i had one and my <laughs> my father-in-law who my in-laws are fair are like holy rollers he like stopped like i didn't know like we're just moving stuff and he was helping and like he like comes up to me puts his, my, his hand on my shoulder he's like jay i want to talk to you about something i was like what the fuck i was like yeah what's up he's like Ouija boards open doors. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> Dude, I was like 35 at this point. I'm like, I was like, Steve. I was like, we're both grown men here. I was like, are you serious right yeah. now? He's like, he's like, well, you just don't want to mess with that stuff. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, and he just looked at me. He's like, just be careful. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just looked at him. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like you know, okay. It's, it's funny too, because like, I still like I don't want to mess with Ouija boards just in case. So, like like you know I, I'm one of those people that's like I mess with bullshit. But I look I know when shit gets deep because I've been through ups and downs of depression things like that. And like I know when you start feeding into stuff, whether yep. it's supernatural or not, your own psyche will take control and start pulling from your fucking bullshit, right? So whether it be because of supernatural stuff or if I'm just like, I'm on my way to work, I get shit on my bird, I get rear-ended, I'm like, it's fucking Ouija <laughs> Like, you know, you, you want to look you for serious, something to bro? blame. Fucking Ouija board? Yeah, yeah, right, right. I tell the guy that in the accident, I'm like, look, dude, I was And then sorry. finally I wrecked my car and you know it was in the trunk? Fucking Ouija board. Like, <laughs> it, it just, no. That's like that paranormal witness bullshit. Right, well, here's the deal. I think Chris is still upset with the Ouija board because back when they used to have, you know, where I used to have my Halloween parties, the, the clubhouse. Yeah. 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 Well, they used to do a haunted house for years there. Okay. And they one year they did like a little waiting room down. Remember where the bathrooms were? You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you know where the bathrooms were. <laughs> so down in that little area right in there, 
they set up a table with a Ouija board, and it was Chris and Joe Pierce, and I was sitting there like, I don't want to go to the horror hell. And I was sitting there with them, and like someone was like, who is this? It's like George Washington, and then something happened in the bathroom, and they freaked out. So yeah, yeah, I think, I think that might have been, <laughs> might have been the catalyst for. Wait, wait, wait. you're not gonna, you're not gonna watch a documentary about a Ouija board in this house, are you? Uh, well, we live, Franklin well, we, is the devil. <laughs> while we live here in this house <laughs> together, as, as, as family, um, you're not gonna, you're not, you're gonna watch one. You're gonna watch a documentary about one. Look, man, if those things can summon demons. I would be using them daily to help me get my fucking work done. <laughs> it's something I, I, I've said repeatedly to anyone that, look, look, I have my beliefs, everyone has their beliefs. But what I've said to anyone that is like of Christian descent that believes certain things are witchcraft and what have you, I'm like, look, witchcraft, real witchcraft does not exist because I would be using it. I would be a multimillionaire. Yeah. And I, and I would, you know. Believe me, I would have found it. That's what I, that's basically what I'm saying. And all this, like you know, this this concept of some toy made of a tell. Even let's go back. Okay, even before the Ouija board was a toy produced by a game board company. You know, yeah, it's you know a mystical thing. It's a, a tool that we could. It's like you might as well play light as a feather, stiff as a board, or whatever the fuck it is. Like it's. It's the same kind of concept. It's a, a general, like, we're all in this. We're all pushing for this mystical thing to happen. And as far as we all know, the real paranormal stuff happens when you least expect it. When you're playing with your, you know, your... Board uh, game? What's that? Your board game? <laughs> yeah. Or when you're when you're playing with your, uh, you know, I don't know, Mumra figure and... It bites oh, those were there. that thing was fucking lit. And the ring on the back, make the yeah. eyes light up. Yeah, it bites you. You mean that demonic toy can? Everything's demonic at this point now, man. <laughs> we're in Zach Bagan's world here, man. Right, it's a, it's a class six demon. Doesn't he give him classes and like classifications and shit now? Zach, I don't, dude. I'm a fan of him on uh, Halloween Wars, where where the people make the the, the yeah. desserts. Yeah, he, he just shows up as this fucking like. It's like live from the psych ward. He's like, he's yeah. like, oh, you on guys the are screens. Here yeah, he's on yeah. the screens and he's like, your challenge. You better make it. <laughs> You're like, your like, challenge is to figure out why I wear these glasses now and like why I stopped lifting, bro. Yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> it's definitely not as small as he used to be. Nope. Look, there's so many great Halloween themed toys out there. And I know that, you know, the toy thing is it's 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 an acquired taste you know and i like looking around and seeing shit that i enjoy you know like it's the little oh, things yeah. right you know Absolutely. like i always have my saigor second gen on top of my you know stuff here i got my stuff on here and i love it i love just seeing it and like oh my god like that's 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 a cool design you know like i, I like that i'm, yeah, I'm man, they're, that. They're, they're modern day totems right right we yeah, don't want to wake I look any, at them. Yeah. And we don't want to wake up any tulpas, especially involving piss. <laughs> oh, do you mean. Um, no, 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 no. Don't say. Right. No, no, that's not. I was going to I was going to call him by his, uh, his his scientific classification. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, do that. I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah, good. Oh, you mean piss mouth uh, trash dick? <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are, you motherfucker. He doesn't listen either. You know, he, he doesn't, promotes. He doesn't he, listen. He doesn't actually listen. Yeah. I, I know for a fact. I, oh, I know for a fact, too. I know for a fact. Too. He doesn't listen. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking poser. Oh, he's he's the biggest poser. Oh, yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> All right. So, I mean. I think that's it, man. I mean, yeah. I, I think this is a cool little start to the, uh, you know, our Halloween clip of episodes. A uh, little trick or treat bag full of uh, fun toys from the, from the past. Right, 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 right. Um, you know. Hey, if we missed anything, let us know. Or if right. there's stuff that you wanted to share, let us know. Uh, I mean, I'm always, dude, looking at toys is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Like, I I love, like, the I own that. Like, all right, remember w one last thing. The the, uh, the the family that bust together from the new Ghostbusters movie. That Egon, yeah. when I saw that, I was like, no, I have to have that. 
Oh, yeah. I was like, no, no, no. I was going to Target every night. I was like, I yep. had to have it. I finally found it at the one, uh, the one off the Target off Cotman Avenue. And then one of the girls stole my account information and uh, liquidated my bank account. Which I nice. Back. Nice. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth nice. it. I still got it, you know, in box there. But Keep it classy, Philly. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Northeast Philly, doing it, doing it good, doing it, <laughs> doing it, and doing it, doing it well. <laughs> All right, guys. But uh, also leading up to this, so this is our first episode in October. I want to also say that share with us your Halloween costumes. We oh yeah, see yeah, them. yeah, yeah. Get start sending them now. We'll talk about them in the episodes coming up. Yep. And uh, leading up to our Halloween special, our Halloween, yeah, our third, our third Halloween special. Yep. We got some fun planned for that. Uh, yep. We're not going to be zoomed. We'll be in in person yep. and in costume. Yeah. Um, we're going to summon a demon. Yeah, yeah right. We're going to have a Ouija board. Oh my god, dude! Should we just get a Ouija board too? Should we do it? Should I already have a- one here. Oh, well, should we do a Ouija board session? Yeah, there? that's where Ryan came from. He popped out of this fucking Ouija board. Oh, like, every- <laughs> I told you his real name: Trash Dick Pissmouth. <laughs> that's his demonic name. Uh, all right. Uh, that doesn't. Um, it has nothing to do with his his proclivities or what he does on the internet. Right, right, right. And also, there's there's a rumor <laughs> that we might break out uh, cell phone um, ghost hunting apps. No, no, we're not going to do that. Do yeah. we want to do that with it? We want to. I think that? it's a waste of time. Wouldn't it be funny though if we had that with a Ouija board? <laughs> no. All right, that rumor then that rumor is bullshit. It, well, I heard a. a a Ouija board told me that, so you can never trust with the right, test. right, right. You actually summon the demon. Yeah, would be so disappointed. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, guys. Though, so for this episode <laughs> of Other Dangerous Podcast, I'm Ken James, and I'm Jason McKittrick. And as always, have a spooky evening. Thank you for listening to Other Dangerous Podcasts. Have you encountered the other dangers? If so, you can email us at otherdangerouspodcast at gmail.com. And if you'd like to have a discussion about the paranormal, you can find us at Other Dangerous Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. There you can find submitted pictures, videos, and artwork from listeners. We are now streaming on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and anywhere else podcasts are streamed. And after listening, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so we can continue to bring you the other dangers.